Atmosphere absolutely sensational here. The MGM okay. Grand, Oscar, as Tony Weeks Manny, calls him in. You both received your instructions in your dressing room. Okay, look. If he goes right here, it's okay. Anything below that's low. Right here is okay. Anything below that's low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourself at all times. Let's go. All right, so we're set to go, Dave. I don't know about you, but there's no place in the world I'd rather be than right here, right now. Goosebumps. <laughs> That's it. Electricity, and, and you know, Manny Pacquiao, you're always expecting him to come flying out there and throwing something huge. And let's see if that's what he does here against Oscar. And a lot of people think that's what Oscar has to do, too, is come out real fast and fight every minute of every round himself. Will there be any filling out process, or will they go right to it? Oscar starts the test with the right hand upstairs. And he continues to circle to his left. Nobody's committed to anything hard just yet. You'll watch Oscar for the right hand lead down the shoot against Manny Southpaw style as Pacquiao clips him also the double left hook. And Oscar De La Hoya is a great left hook artist to the body. And on the breaks, watch the uppercuts off the hands of De La Hoya. Oscar knows how to fight southpaws. Manny tries to touch him up with the jab, but you can see the reach is significant for De La Hoya. And the cheers go up. A battle between the Filipinos and the Mexicans. Right here in the United States. Right. <laughs> Manny caught him. Oscar hasn't landed anything significant here in the first round, so in the first minute he hasn't just thrown caution to the wind and made Manny feel his power yet. But Oscar can set up that left hand. A little bit of abrasion on the nose of Oscar De La Hoya already. Oscar blasts the left side of the body of Manny downstairs. Manny has a tendency to bounce and skip, and if he throws that left hand down the middle, he can catch Oscar at times with the left hand down the middle, but Right now, he's concentrating on positioning, Dave. And De La Hoya with the right hand glued to his chin, expecting Pacquiao to throw the big straight left hand down the middle. And it's been tried a couple times, and De La Hoya has managed to smother those shots. And he touches him up with a, his jab that time. There's a left hand lead for Manny, which is his power shot to the southpaw. Two minutes gone. De La Hoya's not winning the first round at this point, in my opinion. That looks a little roughed up around the nose area, too. Some good, sneaky shots getting through by Pacquiao. Now Oscar opens up for the first time. Catches Pacquiao to the right temporal bone as Pacquiao was bent over. You know, part of the uh, philosophy for smaller guys is sometimes to make yourself smaller like Whittaker used to do. And if Pacquiao can bend way down when Oscar comes in, as he showed that time, it can be a difficult angle for Oscar. Oscar short with his punches in spite of the fact of his reach. And there's Pacquiao darting back out of trouble and then into the punching range. And his speed has probably been a little bit of a surprise for Oscar so far. Well, it's significantly different in his speed. Oscar short with the jab again, last few seconds of the round. Oscar tries to open up, but Manny makes a miss. Caught him with the right hand there, but not significantly. And here comes the bell in the first round. I give that to Pacquiao. Now remember, the official judges are Adelaide Bird of Las Vegas and Dave Moretti of Las Vegas, an old friend, the Hall of Fame referee and judge, Stanley Cristadulo of South Africa. And Stan and I usually see eye to eye in scoring. We're usually right together as we came up together years ago. And here is Pacquiao on the right side of the screen. Good straight left hand getting through, then ducking down to miss the counter from Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar looked uh, almost a little awkward with some of his punches in the first round. Here we go, round number two. Let's see if he tries to put some pressure on Manny Pacquiao now. You heard Freddie Roach say, as soon as you feel those ropes, get off there. And he gets off by hitting Oscar. Well, Oscar De La Hoya looked tight 
in the opening round. He looks tight right now, too. And man, he nails him with the right hand. You know, Oscar was a natural south, southpaw, so he's got considerable power with his left hand. But he hasn't been able to land it yet, man. He's landed the heavier blows and more blows to this point. Little side to side dip so far. Things are working for Manny Pacquiao as Oscar can't touch him up. The quickness of foot, the movement of his head, and the hand speed. Now watch when De La Hoya moves to his left to cut off the ring. That is when Pacquiao charges him. And he will not let the ring be cut off. When Oscar moves to his left, watch and see if Pacquiao then decides that's the time to charge. A minute gone in the second round. So far, Manny Pacquiao looks like he's outboxing Oscar De La Hoya. To my way of thinking, Oscar missing with the jab, jab, jab. So that stiff left hand and jab, ticking it for the head of Manny. And Manny Bobby weaving, ducking, du uh, diving, ducking is not being hit by the jab at all. Oscar's got to get a piece of him. If I'm him, I got to step up the inside, catching him in the chest. You got to get a piece of him. Let's start there. Yeah, get inside. He wants the right hand lead against Pacquiao, but Pacquiao is really quick with his feet. Oscar fighting a little on the flat footed side, Manny right up on his toes. Yeah, it's magic so far for Pacquiao, his ability to go in and out. And in spite of the fact that Oscar had Angelo Dundee advising him, it was there. Angelo always used to say, hit and don't get hit, in and out, in and out. And that's exactly the way Manny Pacquiao is fighting right now. There's the uppercut. Straight left hand. Well, he is sharpshooting here. And he's showing extraordinary patience. He lands his best shot, then he gets out. I'm surprised that Oscar didn't force the fight a little bit more here in the early going. I really thought he'd try to test his power shots against this guy, but he can't catch up with him. No, he cannot get inside and, and, and work that body and set up the rest of the fight. Well, he can't hit him with the jab, seemingly. And without being able to touch him up with the jab, you're going to have a difficult time with the right hand. Of course, one big punch with the left hook can change the course of this fight in a minute. In a second, I should say. There was a left hook that got through that time, but it was with an outstretched hand of Austin. There was no power behind it. But Pacquiao's movement is the difference in this fight, and it's extraordinary. Well, the quicker pound for pound guy is one two in my score sheet. Uh, he's doing a great job thus far. Well, the directions by Freddie Roach, in and out, side to side, and that's exactly what he's doing. And he's executing the fight plan to a T. This is round three. The Colonel Bob Sheridan with Dave Bontempo. MGM Grand Garden Arena facing you, Manny Pacquiao. To the left of your screen, Oscar De La Hoya. De La Hoya out punched in the power department two to one so far by Pacquiao who has shown infinite quickness the good movement on the angles and then delivered the payload after he's made Oscar De La Hoya miss and you see some tentative qualities in these shots by Oscar De La Hoya they're coming up a little short because of the speed of Pacquiao Pacquiao has landed some power upstairs to Oscar because he's swollen around the eyes and on the cheeks and his jab, you know, really doesn't seem to have that kind of power. And as I say that, he finally is able to get the jab to the face of Manny Pacquiao. But just about a minute gone here in round three. This has been the best minute of the fight for De La Hoya, but he really hasn't capitalized on it any. Pacquiao still working, trying to get in and out, looking for his opportunity to attack. And this is when Pacquiao is in front of De La Hoya, and he's trying 
now to cash in. The lead right hand is there for him. He's trying to go through the Pacquiao jab and get that right hand in. And he's starting to load up with it now. And Oscar loaded up a couple of shots and both would take it on the back of the gloves of Manny Pacquiao. No, but it shows where Oscar De La Hoya's fight plan is headed. Straight left hand down the middle, snap the head back of Oscar. Oscar hasn't done enough to win the first two minutes of this round. Although he's had a better round three than the first two. How many rounds can you allow Pacquiao to put in the bank, though? A 12 round fight, if you allow three, then you would have to win. Almost, you have to win seven of the next nine. Yeah. That's how big a 3 nothing lead is. Forty five seconds to go in the third round. And the harder shots have been De La Hoya's in this round. Pacquiao has landed more. Manny with a good body shot in the left side of the rib cage of Oscar. Oscar's still very flat footed. Pacquiao's down on his heels a little bit more, but he's picking his shots. Nice head movement, making a difficult target with that left hand for Oscar. Oscar, you're right, Davis, tentative with the right hand. He's going to let that right hand fly down the middle. Yeah, he shortened it point. up. He shortened it up, didn't trust it. I mean, he can't be afraid of the power of this guy. That'll be around to remember. I mean, I'm leaning towards Oscar De La Hoya for that round. Uh, you could give it to him, and that looks like that might go as a split because Pacquiao landed a lot of good body shots in the last minute. You've got to remember that third round, Dave, that you know, it could go either way on the judges' score sheets. Because if people judge it for Pacquiao, he's got a prohibitive lead with three rounds after three rounds. And you explain to him how much more Oscar would have to come back. That's pretty. Lead out. Use your feints a little bit more in counter punch. Yeah. Okay. Here's Manny Pacquiao, the straight leaping left hand. Look at that off the move. And how do you get that shot through a, a lead shot on Oscar De La Hoya? Let's go, Freddy. The quickness, he poises, gets through. Throws a shot that was unexpected. And if Oscar can't land the, the jab because of the movement, is what Freddie Roach said true. Is Oscar having trouble getting off? You know, it's something you got to question at this stage right now. We don't know. There's a lot of fight left. This is round four. Oscar to the right, Manny Pacquiao with his back to you. MGM Grand Garden Arena, the obvious hand speed of Pacquiao is just that. It's so obvious. The left hand down the middle for the right handed fighter. They say you throw the right hand down the middle of the southpaw. Conversely speaking, the southpaw does the same thing. Left hand power shot down the middle, and he caught Oscar. Oscar's left jab is not accurate. He hasn't been able to plant the right hand. And he's paid a price every time he stops. Pacquiao circles. Oscar De La Hoya stops, and that's when Pacquiao hits him. Hits him off the stop. And with Pacquiao moving like this, you see that it's been hard for De La Hoya to locate that lead right hand he wants. And already different from the Stevie Forbes fight, where Stevie was fighting the fight of his life. He couldn't manage to win any rounds, or many rounds, if any, against Oscar. And Manny Pacquiao is certainly more than holding his own. And, and just getting bolder as he sets up everything with good movement outside and then comes charging De La Hoya inside. And so far, it is a beautiful fight by and, Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, and Manny seeing the right hand of Oscar, meaning that maybe Freddie's right, too, that Oscar's not able to get it off of the, you know, the, the sharpness that he wants good because it seems like every time he throws the right hand, Manny's dipping and, and making even when he lands. There's a right hand crisp in the jaw of De La Hoya. And Pacquiao's getting bolder coming toward De La Hoya and getting more into those shots. See, Oscar's, Oscar's trying to step up into the jab, but look at how tentative it is there as he just puts it out. Right hand misses him. Manny just parries it up. All those jabs, about five or six, and nothing landed. And that's just a little head movement of Manny. Now he comes in, unleashes an assault to the body, nothing powerful. But this is 
Yeah, in terms of power, Oscar De La Hoya has already been touched up more by Manny Pacquiao than he was against Floyd Mayweather for their whole fight. Pacquiao is doing and, and, and clearly doing more, in my opinion, than Mayweather did in the fight. Mayweather got the split decision. Pacquiao oh, he hurt him there. Him. Caught him with the uppercut. Oscar's having a tough time right now with Manny Pacquiao. It's a four to one ratio in power punches this round for Pacquiao, and this is a defining round in the fight. Good body shot, a little bit south of the border. Tony Weeks right on top of him, says, keep him up, Manny. But you'd expect that with a guy that's uh, some four inches tall. That's a Pacquiao round, any way you well, shoot, That's a you big figure. Pacquiao round. And remember, it's not definitive that De La Hoya gets round three. Yep. I, I put it down because I thought some judges would, but it's not definitive that he gets the third round. Don't just walk in, walk in behind the paint and the head movement and the field jab. A little bit of movement. He can't handle your speed, son. Okay. Well, that's obviously the game plan. He can't handle the speed and he hasn't been able to. And because of that, Pacquiao out punching De La Hoya almost three to one in the power department. 60% landed. And when you get up and you keep that percentage, that's when fights get stopped. All right, this is round number five. De La Hoya is going to have to do something sensational here. And uh, straight right hand caught a piece of Manny that time. And he's going to open up. Now he's going to put his ears back, throw caution to the wind, and try to start nailing this guy with some power shots. So Manny's going to walk away with this thing, outboxing him. Freddie Roach said, just make sure you have the head movement coming in and coming out. And, and Freddie uh, is the type of guy that gives one or two instructions to his fighter in between rounds. And Manny is a coachable guy and follows what Freddie says. Now from the moment we saw him entering the building, Oscar De La Hoya has not been comfortable. Not comfortable in the ring, not comfortable before the fight. Not comfortable in his dressing room. No smiles. And that's not really his nature, though. I understand what it's like on fight night for a professional prize fighter. That that's the way he gets himself ready to fight. It's all business in the ring, and it's a dangerous sport. But right now, he's on the receiving end of the speed of Pacquiao with a minute gone in the fifth round of the fight. Oscar just pouring with the jab, not really stepping up into it, not throwing the left hand to the body with any viciousness at all. And look at Manny. Look at the amount of punches he's throwing there. And the power. Here's a guy that's come up from 106, and he's a legitimate welterweight power puncher here. Actually heavier. Listen to the crowd's reaction as Pacquiao scores. Tony Weeks, the third man in the ring, hasn't had to do much because these guys are not clinching. They're boxing and fighting. Manny Pacquiao, you know, is considered a, a fighter as opposed to a boxer. But what a boxing match he's putting on tonight. Look he, at this. He has been terrific moving up. Meantime, Oscar De La Hoya has not looked good coming down. This no. is not a comfortable weight class for him tonight. And he is just he is just not the same Oscar De La Hoya we've seen in terms of the fire. And Manny Pacquiao is capitalizing on it to this point. Now Pacquiao, with two minutes gone here in the fifth round, is certainly winning the fifth round. And he may have won every round. I gave De La Hoya the third round, but you know, it was very close, and we pointed out at the time that there are some judges that could have gone the other way in that one. So Oscar finally plants a right hand to the body, then upstairs. And now he finally starts hitting Manny, and all that seems to do is get an adrenaline flow for Pacquiao. But that's all Oscar's done in the entire fifth round of this fight. When do you see him eat so many jabs? I've never seen him eat so many jabs. Nope. He is... Gobbled up a lot of them from Pacquiao in this fight. In, in losing efforts to Bernard Hopkins, to Mayweather, twice to Shane Mosley, and Felix Trinidad, he didn't look this bad. Another Pacquiao round goes in the books for me.
I have it 49-46, and it could be as much as 50 to 45. And it even seems wider than that, the way the fight is being contested. Oscar De La Hoya looks exasperated. Off the ropes. You don't belong on the ropes. At least it's a little bit. Don't get lazy and play. All right? Stay focused in the middle of the ring. Slow down. All right? Deep breath. See, you just, just one or two points in the middle of the ring. Okay? points that Freddie continues to make. Don't get caught up against the ropes. You feel your back touching the ropes. Get out of there. And don't get overconfident with this guy. Stay focused. Freddie Roach knows exactly what Oscar can do, and he knows exactly what his man can do. This is round six. MGM Grand Garden Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. The Colonel Bob Short and he with Dave Montempo. Manny Pacquiao in red to the right of your screen with the red shoes on. Oscar De La Hoya must open up and start landing some power shots or he's going to be outboxed for this entire fight by Manny Pacquiao. Most people thought De La Hoya would knock this guy out. A lot of people thought inside of six or seven rounds. And Pacquiao is just totally outboxing. And if the fight plan engineered by Freddie Roach is uh, what Pacquiao's trying to do, he's keeping Oscar right in the center of the ring. Oscar is not willing himself and, and pushing this guy back and making him back up. Uh, he, he, he's fighting with a tentative nature. He's aiming his punches. He's guiding his punches. He just has to let it go. And sometimes you go in there and the other guy will just be faster than you, a little bit stronger than you. And Oscar De La Hoya will have to just throw caution to the wind because the scorecards are pretty soon not going to be issued for him. Oscar's uh, left eye closing up with that jab and the left hand falling it. And now here he tries to exchange with Manny. Nothing that he throws lands and Manny touches him up. Oscar had his left hook that time blocked in the elbow by Pacquiao. So nothing really working for Oscar. Even when he opens up, Pacquiao is landing more shots. And there's Pacquiao with two and then the left hand down the middle. And we're used to Oscar De La Hoya standing and taking his shot when the guy comes at him, cutting him off with the right hand, cutting him off with the left hook. But tonight, the speed of Pacquiao on the inside continually disrupts the momentum and the rhythm for Oscar De La Hoya. And, and Freddie won't allow, Freddie Roach that is, won't allow Pacquiao to allow himself to get caught in up against the rope so Oscar can pin him down and unload four or five right hands on him. Look at the patience here of Pacquiao. Three nice shots, you load up again. Three nice shots, you load up again. You don't lunge, you don't go for what's not there. The right hand lead for Oscar De La Hoya. We've seen it on a handful of occasions tonight, and that's all. Is this the night that uh, Oscar gets old? So far, the answer would be yes. Well, you know, people talk about the southpaw style of Manny Pacquiao, but he's known he's fighting a southpaw. He handled Floyd Mayweather with uh, better ease than he's handling this guy. Now he's been a split second behind, and then the quick feet of Pacquiao have put him at good angles where he can launch an attack. Probably the most surprising part of this fight is how Pacquiao has maintained his speed and still has good power at 147. And then he moves, bounces right, bounces left, doesn't let De La Hoya get him off, and the bell sounds in the sixth round, another Pacquiao round. Well, right now, as I look at my score sheet, Oscar De La Hoya almost needs a knockout, or at least knock him down a couple of times to win this fight. And it's just a distant consideration for him right now. <laughs> If you keep the fight in the middle of the ring, you keep boxing and turning them, okay? All right? Now here. Here's Pacquiao. Double jab. Straight left hand through there. You just don't see Oscar De La Hoya taking three punch combinations like that. It is Pacquiao's so night. And Oscar's, I look across the way, sitting on his stool, looks almost like a beaten fighter. Well, his corner said, Come on, you got to take the fight to him and start landing some right hands, throw some right hands anyway. You know, he, he gets, knows, he knows it, but 
Whether you get the body to do that, whether you take advantage of those split-second opportunities is a different story. You know, he, he threw the right hand that time with kind of the thumb out and the palm up. That's not the way you throw a power shot with your right hand. Pacquiao continues to bounce around up on his toes, and he's been this way. You know, if his fight plan was to fight the first minute of the first round and then the second minute and then the third minute, he's done exactly that in every single round, which is what he said he had to do and what Freddie Roach said he had to do to beat De La Hoya. And then the other thing that we talked about is that he had to do enough in the power department to make an impact, and he has. He has outfought Oscar De La Hoya in the power department by a ratio of about 3-1. to one. And then Freddie Roach also telling Pacquiao, don't lose concentration and allow this guy to sneak back into this fight. Oscar again tentative with the left hand, so what does Pacquiao do? He cracks him with the right hand. He's working on that left eye of Oscar De La Hoya and has it almost shut. Oscar not getting off right hands. and He looks like he's almost shell shy right now. Yeah. The way man, he's attacking him. And this has been the fight since the beginning. Pacquiao's power bothering Oscar De La Hoya, and Pacquiao gets off first. You don't see De La Hoya on the ropes like this. And it was uh, the corner of Pacquiao, namely Freddie Roach, saying don't get caught in the corner. Now De La Hoya's caught in the corner. And look at this guy go. Minute 15 seconds to go, and De La Hoya's in trouble. He can't get off these ropes here. He should be sliding down the ropes or grabbing this guy. Nothing is working for Austin. Man, he's punishing him right now. Oscar's heels are heavy. He's heavy in the thighs. His legs aren't there. Manio continues to put the pressure on him. Pacquiao knows he's got him a little bit stunned. Oscar really slow with his jab now. The back up against the ropes, and Manny's on the assault. Tony Weeks having a good look at Oscar De La Hoya. Look at the legs ready to go. Oscar De La Hoya. And he nailed him with the right hand. He's all over him right now. Oscar's hurt. Pacquiao pouring the pressure on. Finally, Oscar steps away. And that left eye is really closing up. This has been a great round for Pacquiao. And there will be a big decision made in Oscar De La Hoya's corner, both about the eye and about his presence in this fight. He needs to step up. Inside of 10 seconds to go in the seventh round. If there's another round like this, this fight will be over. Well, I don't think Oscar could take another round like nope. this. 42 to 6. Power punches for Pacquiao. What are you that doing? Round. You want to keep on? Huh? Punch me, dude. Have to stop this shit. Look at that eye. Is not your bear stand works on Okay, you got to fight back now. Tony Weeks says, hey, you got to fight back now. So Tony's having a look at uh, stopping this fight. Take a deep breath, then you know it. Take a deep breath. They will be taking a real close look at stopping this win. Look at this action. Pacquiao, three shots. And when do you see Oscar De La Hoya stand back and take stuff like this? And, yeah, because of his legacy and what he's done, they're letting him have another round, and he has to take advantage of it now, or there may not be another one. Well, they talked about history in the making and comparing this guy to the great Henry Armstrong, who won three world titles in three different uh, classifications. Just the fact that Manny Pacquiao has come up two world titles in two different classifications fighting this one, even though it's not a world title fight, to beat Oscar De La Hoya the way he's doing it would be significant. But Oscar that barely stopped at 135 on the way up here and then jumped two more. And he's making himself look as good at 147 as he's been anywhere. Now, Oscar hasn't been able to get off. He hasn't been anchored because of the movement of uh, Pacquiao. Pacquiao's been on his toes the entire fight, and Pacquiao's had more power than Oscar. I mean, it's been all Manny Pacquiao tonight. We have never seen Oscar De La Hoya in as tentative a position throughout as he's been here, and he has to try and summon one last ounce of something because well, he needs it now, and Pacquiao still stands and slugs with him after getting hit. Now, remember that Oscar De La Hoya has been a great champion, 
And one big hand could change the course of this fight. But it's a stretch right now in the eighth round as he continues to get outboxed by Manny Pacquiao. Oscar needs to do something sensational, and he's got to do it with tremendous power if he's going to pull this fight out now. The great fighters can do it, and he certainly has been a great fighter throughout his career. Let's see if there's one more miraculous move in Oscar De La Hoya. As I say that, Pacquiao pours the pressure on him, and this might be the miraculous finish of the career of Oscar De La Hoya. Pacquiao really labeling him and blasting him with left hand, right hand. Oscar's got to get out of the corner. When he feels the ropes, he needs to do what Freddie told Manny, and then slide down the ropes and get out of there. This he's, is no fight, no place to fight this guy. He's spending more than half the round on the ropes now, out of fatigue and, and out of being shell shocked. The champ goes up, Manny, Manny, as the crowd turns in favor of Pacquiao. The left eye of Oscar De La Hoya is practically shut, and now he's working on the right eye of De La Hoya. Nobody's been down. De La Hoya's been shaken on a couple of occasions, especially in the last round. For the first two minutes and some of this round, it's been Pacquiao outboxing him again, forcing De La Hoya back to the ropes. Feigning as everything that Freddie Roach has told him to do, he's executed. And we've seen De La Hoya again on the ropes at the Sanctuary. No place to win a fight. And look at that. Just as Freddie told him, he walked right back to the center of the ring. And now this is one thing that, again, the corner of Pacquiao, they don't want him to hot dog it. Finish this guy off if you can. Don't mess with this guy. And the power shots were right downstairs. And look at Pacquiao battle to the end of the eighth round, trying to stop Oscar De La Hoya in his track. But LNZ eighth, another Pacquiao round. Well, if we were wrong in the third round, <laughs> Slightly giving that to De La Hoya. Many Pacquiao's won every other round. Yeah. My score well, looked a little better. better. Hey, do you have a headache? No se siente nada. Oscar. No se siente nada. Oscar. No tiene nada. Do you have a headache? Are you dizzy? Huh? Do you, are you, do you have a headache? Yeah. Okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. No, no. Listen. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if you keep taking punches, I'm stopping the fight. Right. Okay? Okay. Well, you heard Tony Meeks say if you keep on taking punches, I'm going to stop the fight. So I would say that you might be seeing the last round in the career of Oscar De La Hoya. To the point where the first time Pacquiao gets De La Hoya in trouble, that might be it. Well, Tony Weeks flat out said, I'm not going to let you take any more head blows. He knows he's 35 and, and it's all over. The fight is stopped. It's all over. De La Hoya can't answer the bell for the ninth round. It'll go as a technical knockout victory after eight for Manny Pacquiao. An upset, a huge upset. A tremendous victory for Manny Pacquiao. Now on the horizon, a huge payday. Probably in the spring, probably in the UK. Probably against Ricky Hatton. Who just happens to be here tonight. And what a moment for Manny Pacquiao. Executing his fight plan beautifully. The side-to-side -side movement. Darting in and out. And these guys were not on the same level tonight. This is as fine a performance, wire-to-wire, -wire, as we've ever seen from Manny Pacquiao. Well, we've seen him overcome adversity. We've seen him come back from tough situations, but this was dominant from the beginning of the fight. Well, if Freddie Roach, uh, from what he said from the get-go, that Oscar can't get off anymore, it certainly looked that way for me from the very opening bell of this fight, that he couldn't get off. And, you know, a lot of that, you got to give the credit to the speed and the fight plan that he, Pacquiao had for De La Hoya, but De La Hoya looked tentative from the get-go. He did, when he walked in the building. Yeah, you, you, you said he, he didn't look comfortable at the weigh-in, walking in the building, in his dressing room, and certainly not in the ring. And surprisingly, he didn't put on the extra weight to be a bigger fighter where he'd be more natural. He was actually the smaller fighter in here. And when he got into that ring tonight, it just wasn't there for him. I'd like to know who in the corner of uh, De La Hoya decided whether well, it was Oscar himself or somebody else, and we probably won't know. Might have been a, a ringside inspector because Oscar De La Hoya had acknowledged to Tony Weeks that, you know, that he would stop it in the next round if there was trouble. And then a ringside inspector went in there right after that, and, and maybe they just had another opinion that, okay, let's 
not waffle on this. Let's also remember Tony Weeks was here with, with, with the uh, when Levander Johnson uh, passed away in his fight. He's got that on his mind too. All these things weigh in. Well, Tony had told him if you take any more headshots, I'm going to stop it. Maybe Oscar just decided, you know, it's not going my way. Maybe it is time. You know, he talked about he doesn't know when to retire. I think it's time. Yeah. I know he doesn't want to go out with a performance like this, but there was the inspectors talking to Oscar. A consensus and he came right over and congratulated Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. You can't remember a time when Oscar De La Hoya got hit so much and you can't remember a time when Manny Pacquiao got hit so little. Well in Pacquiao's last two fights has been nothing short of sensation. I mean he beat a terrific David Diaz. Here's the official Ladies announcement. Here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas we turn a page in boxing history as this fight comes to an end. The official time at the end of round eight referee Tony Weeks calls a halt to the bow. The winner by TKO victory and still the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. The fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny Pacman. Yeah.